Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi. Last time I happened to leave off at the exact perfect time. We get to one of my favorite bosses, at least in my opinion. I'm, uh, simply put, there are many different ways you can take on the next boss, the Crystal King. Um, one badge you need to have on, period, is feeling fine, though. The boss is capable of freezing you. The last thing you need to have happen to you is to be completely unable to defend yourself against this boss. Put on feeling fine, and then the rest is really up to you. I mean, there's just uh, many ways I, you can tackle this guy, really. Um... For me, um, I'm going to go ahead and put on a D-Down Pound. I'm going to make sure I have Quick Change on. Happy Flower and a FP Plus. And... Oh, what? I was going to go and put on a Damage Dodge, maybe. But I'm going to put on Pretty Lucky. See if I'm lucky. Just for you guys. Okay. So I come out here. Hmm, a back door. You think it's going to end up... Do you think it's going to be a dead end up ahead? Hey, by the way, what do you think the star spirits are up to right now? I was just thinking of them. Who comes to my palace? It's a snowball with a coat on! No, it's the crystal king. Who is a snowball with a coat on? And a crown. <laughs> Mario, you finally arrived! <laughs> I knew you believed you could save the star spirits. But I'm afraid I won't let you. First, I shall defeat you, then I shall present Bowser with an iced Mario gift. But yeah, put on feeling fine. That's really the only badge you absolutely positively need to put on. Um, as for the Crystal King himself, Bowser's main guy. A lot of HP, good attack power, a lot of defense. Defense power too. But, uh, beginning of the battle here, he tries to attack you with, uh, these little crystal bits here, they do 4 damage each. A single chill out will bring that down to 1 damage. And with a defense badge, they do nothing. So the beginning of this battle basically becomes moot if you do this. Um, if you don't do this or you decide not to go defensive, the best strategy usually is to kill all the bits and then attack them. But uh, other than that, I mean, he doesn't do anything else. He might attack you without the bits in the beginning of the battle, but even if he does, not for much. For the party member, I'm going to use, use Watt. Watt penetrates defense. That's the main reason why. I find Watt to become really useful against most bosses. But yeah, he's just going to stand there, summon bits, shoot him at me for no damage for the beginning of this battle. Rather hilarious, actually. The crystal bits themselves only have a single HP. And uh, if they attack by themselves, which is possible, they. I can't remember how much damage they do by themselves. Not 4 damage, though. Something less. <laughs> I forgot. But they can attack by themselves. Yeah. I suppose another favorite strategy of mine, if I decide to go on a strategy to try to kill them as fast as possible, is to uh, have Mario charge up a big power bounce with a super gem charge and power bounce, then have somebody like, uh, Lacaster, um, keep knocking out the crystal bits. And then just to kill the crystal king in a single attack, because you're able to do that. It's always fun. You guys get to keep watching Mario just get pelted with a bunch of stones for no damage. Crystal King should be changing his strategy pretty soon here. Once he gets so low on HP, he'll begin doing other stuff like healing himself. And um, some other basic attacks. There really isn't any other way to put it. But uh, he'll quit summoning bits. And he also has one other trick up his sleeve, which is nice. Not even going to bother with the uh, chill out then. Hey, I got lucky. You guys are lucky. I'm lucky. Okay, here's his trick. He'll raise himself into the air, split into three guys. You attack the wrong one, you do injectedly squat. You do nothing. Nada. Zilch. Zero thing. Although, 
I can already tell it's the gun one of them. But what I normally do when that doesn't happen, bring out Lacaster and do a spiny surge. You can do any multi hit mid air attack from one of your partners or. I don't think Mario can do one of those attacks. But any multi hit attack that hits air enemies, you can do. I just like Lacaster because it takes least FP. And he's going to drag on the battle even longer. Oh, he actually hit me. <laughs> Should be dead fairly soon. Curse you overly long morphing magic ability. <laughs> uh, I'll spice things up. Instead of using my character, let's blow him up. Well, let me blow him up. Blow you up. There we go. How about an explosion to almost finish the battle? There we go. And he's gone. No problem at all. Before you can start. Hooray! <laughs> oh no! The last star Oh no! The last star spirit! King Bowser! Forgive me! Okay. So now the star spirit appears in the little globe. This is the final star spirit, so this is the final one that appears in the little globe. It kinda hangs there in the snow, then it finally explodes, then implodes, then changes into a card. And then slowly descends onto the platform, where then I can run around it and then grab it. There we go! End of chapter. Mario has saved the last star spirit, Kalmar, from the Crystal Palace at the edge of the... There is no edge to the world. <laughs> now with the seven star spirits together, he has the power to challenge Bowser and the Star Rod. At last, it's time for Mario's showdown with evil King Bowser. Can Mario rescue the Princess Peach and recover the Star Rod, or will wishes forever go ungranted? Yes, because Bowser with his 0% approval rating can't... We'll never get out. Oh, I suppose he just has the star rod. Anyway, to the final Peach moment. Oh, Mario, I wonder what he's doing now. I wish I knew he was helping him at all. Of course you are. Mario, will be fine. You should be, you should be proud of your efforts. Mario knows all you've done. And don't worry, Princess. You'll be able to talk to him in person before long. Tee hee hee. I hope you're right, Twink. Thanks for cheering me up. Let's go back to the room, shall we? the room where Bowser and Peach both enter the room basically at the same time. Oh, Princess Peach, your cuddly old Bowser is here. Charming. Can't we have a friendly conversation for a change? Come on, let me see you smile. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, don't be such a pill. You're stuck with me for a long, long time, beautiful. You better get used to it. Mario is coming, Bowser, and you can't stop. Go ha ha ha! Oh, you poor silly girl. I'm invincible with the Star Rod, didn't you know? Mario's no match for me. He's history. Get over it. Emergency! Your raunchiness! We have an emergency! It better be important. I'm right in the middle of a friendly chat with the princess. Uh, <laughs> Mario has saved all the stars. There is a chance he could come here using their power. We must make ourselves ready in case he shows up. What? God! Mario! Okay, listen, can you go? Send everyone to their boss. We'll ambush him the second he enters my castle. Princess Peach, why don't you come to watch? You can have a front row seat to see Mario get crushed. Yeah, you. Tie her up immediately. If she gets out this time, heads will roll. Wow, that's pretty violent. No, please! You big goofball show of respect to the princess. What is this fucking little glittering thing? Confetti? Come 
Zappa's up. Is that the first time Twink's ever been noticed? Take the princess. Now, let's move. No! No playtime. Here we are, outside of the Crystal Palace with the Kalmar. My name is Kalmar, Mario. Well done. Thank you for coming. You have successfully restored all the Star Spirits. We are in your debts. Now all that is left is for you to challenge Bowser. My power should help you. Bring back the Star Rod to beat Bowser, to bring peace back to the Mushroom Kingdom, and to save the princess. Mario's right, star energy goes up to 7. He can use up and away, which turns all the enemies into a star as it's usually an instant win if it works, basically, but you don't get any experience if you use that ability, so usually you find yourself not using it very often. You just get it way too late in the game. Anyway, perfect timing again. I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi.